Welcome to Oakfield Farm for my new Let's Play Episode 1 with me, Mr. Sealy P. Well, I've just stopped to check directions. I got off the train from Riverton at a place called Kemble. I've decided I've been working too hard and I wanted a holiday. I needed a break. At Gloucestershire, is a beautiful part of the country so I thought you know what I'm gonna put myself into a B&B have a bit of time to myself do a bit of hiking just relaxing I could do with a rest so I hired a car at Kemble and I'm heading to a little B&B that I've booked it's at a place called Coberley I'm not too sure what that is that's why I'm checking the map um, I spoke to a lovely lady called Penny and in uh, Copley they run a little B&B &B at the old post office. So that's what I've booked. Um, I looked online, found it while I was on the train and thought, you know what, you just make these decisions and you go for it. So I've just come from Siren Sister, heading towards Sheltenham, but I need Coberley. That's upper Coberley. Now the thing is as well, uh, the car I've leased, I didn't have much choice, I'll be honest. I suppose it's springtime, people are out and about, and this was all they had available. It's a bit thirsty on the old gas, but whoops, sorry. Um, look at that muck that's chucking out. But never mind, this is what I've got, so this is what I'm going to go with. You know what? I'm on a holiday, it doesn't matter. I thought I'd treat myself. I've got my money that I bought with me from uh, Riverton, from the West Coast. 293 was what I walked away with. I've leased this, paid for my B&B. Obviously there was my train ticket too. Just wait for the traffic to go and I'm going to try and find Cobley. They gave me very good directions. Past the sawmill and it's a left. And then... Oh, now, Penny did tell me, if you look over to the left, you can see the church spire from the church in Coberley, which is just over there to the left. Okay, so it's the left turn after the sawmill. And we'll be there. It's going to be nice. Take it easy for a bit. What's this signpost coming up now? Is it Coberley? Is Copley. Right, that's the sawmill. Okay, so let's start indicating could come up at any time soon. Just on the left here. What a lovely part of the country. I do like the springtime. Not too hot, not too cold. New life, lambing, buds on the trees, plants and flowers. Wonderful. There you go, there's the church. That's what we saw from the uh, from the main road. So I've got to head through Copley past the church. And then there's a little turning on the right hand side apparently. Now they've said I can park on their drive because there's not actually parking at the B and B. They've got a little house behind it. I'm assuming is this it here? I've got a caravan on the drive. There we go. I'm sure they won't mind. They did say to park on the drive, right? So. Here we are. Coberley. Penny's husband's a man called Dave. Very nice chap by all accounts. This is their house. But I need the old post office. Which I believe I said go through the railings. Down the hill. Take a left and it's on the corner. So. Oh it's so peaceful. So, along to the left, 
on the corner oh there we go <clears throat> the old post office this is where I'm going to be staying kick back and relax right fantastic I'm going to pop back to the house knock on the door sort out paying <clears throat> I know it's already booked but I suppose I should be uh, collecting the keys etc I'll be back in a moment What a lovely couple. Very, very friendly. Got the keys. All sorted out. They've given me a bit of kind of advice on where to go and what to see. Apparently there's a pub called the Seven Springs. Nice to check out. A bit of a restaurant. And just lovely for walking. The Gloucestershire Way, I think, runs not far from here. So plenty of walking to be done. But before I do any of that, I do need to post a couple of postcards. Um, having left Riverton, I need to let people know where I am in this wonderful place. Um, so I've got a postcard for my good friend Adrian. I'm going to send that off. And I've got a postcard for Man Cave Beer Reviews, just to let them know where I am. And if I come across any nice beers in the pubs locally, I'll be sure to let them know. Perfect. It's a lovely little cottage. What's that? Village notice board. I wonder what's going on in the village. Let's have a look. All sorts, I would imagine. <coughs> Public notice. Items for sale. Lost kids, I can't read that. Kids, something plenty for sale. Notices of things Is that massage, someone offering massages that might help me relax. What we got, what we got, what we got. Oh, what's that? Wanted, wanted. A farm troubleshooter at Oakfield Farm. All inquiries to Sir David. Hmm. I might give him a call. Just to find out. I'm a bit curious. You never know. It could be something I might be interested in. Well, I never. Hmm. Oh, man. The temptation's just too great. I'm supposed to be resting. I'm supposed to be relaxing and taking it easy. Do I want to get straight back into farming again, or should I just have a break? Oh, I don't know. Such a lovely place, but... It's in my blood. It's in my blood. Oh, look, there you go. <laughs> it's right here. I'm sure I'll get some walking in. You know what? Let's give him a ring. I'm going to give him a ring. Well, now I'm really nervous. Very, very lovely man. Um, he's home. He says to pop and see him and have a chat. He's got a couple of checks to make. I've just, just basically just told him what I've done, where I've been, what farms I've worked on, what I've managed to achieve. Um, but he's going to make a few phone calls, check out my story, as it were. I don't think he thinks I'm lying, but, you know, kind of like references, I suppose. So, I need to go and see him at his home. I think he wants to see what kind of a chap I am. Which is fair enough, I understand that. Now, he lives in Upper Coberley, apparently. I need to go back onto the main road. Head back towards Sirencester, and then it's on the left. Actually, hang on a minute. Yeah, that was the sign I stopped, didn't I, on the way in? That was Upper Coberley. Right, well... Oh, you know what they say, no rest for the wicked. I knew I wasn't going to get a holiday. It's ridiculous. But never mind. I'd be moaning if I couldn't get work, so I suppose it's a good thing. Assuming, of course, he offers me the job. Fingers crossed. Right, I'm going to see you in a minute when I get to Upper Cobley. Or at least maybe the turning for Upper Cobley. This, this is probably a little bit too big to be driving around country lanes.
although to be fair it does sound awesome and I'm probably one of the only farmers around here that's got one <laughs> right see in a minute so apparently this is at the top of the hill nice big house red 4x4 on the drive and a caravan apparently everyone has caravans around here why would you want to go on holiday when you live somewhere as beautiful as this I don't understand it but anyway up on the hill house on the left very nice indeed Wow, what a view. Well, I don't think I've ever met a sir before. I've worked for a lord. Didn't actually meet him. Let's go. Have a chat. I get the feeling everyone around here is really, really nice. What an incredible man. Here's an interesting thing. Oh, it's amazing. Sir David was recently knighted in the New Year's Honours list. He was knighted for his work in, I suppose, in medicine? For the medical profession, I believe, is probably the best way of putting it. He's developed new and better ways of transporting safely oxygen. And I suppose when you think about it, most hospitals use oxygen tanks. Everybody does. I say everybody does, not everybody does. You know what I mean? Hospitals do. They use them a huge amount. And I suppose the transportation of compressed gases is quite dangerous. So, uh, yeah. Incredible. I've now met a knight. A knight of the realm. How awesome is that? Now, here's the thing. One of the people... It turns out that Sir David knows, would you believe, is Lord William. He's been on the phone with him for quite a while, apparently, and Lord William has sung my praises. I'm incredibly lucky and very, very grateful for that. Thank you very much. Um, he has offered me the job. Farm troubleshooter, farm manager. I can call the job whatever I want, apparently. I'm on hand to help out, to do whatever needs to be done, and he wants me to try what I did on the west coast for the farming cooperative and get Oakfield kind of up on its feet. It's a working farm, but I think increase the profitability and the estate will be kind of grateful, I suppose. Um, as far as I gather, he owns operates quite a few of the fields around this area some are owned by other farmers but he's looking to buy up parts of the uh, the landscape you see around you so i have to make a decision he said i can pop up to oakfield farm have a look around see what i think and then i need to go and see him tonight at the seven springs pub which was the one i mentioned earlier actually which i'm going to need to find i need to meet him at seven o'clock to let him know my decision so I'm now going to head to Oakfield Farm have a look round, see what I think um, this all happened rather quickly I started off having a holiday and now I've been offered a job wow ok well I'll see you at Oakfield Farm in a minute I seem to be spending my day to day following directions bouncing from person to person who's telling me different things. Right, so um, there's a turning on my left, apparently. Not far along here. Is it? There's no sign. What does that say? private road farm access only okay that looks likely to be it on the right hand side
Oakfield Farm. Very nice indeed. Now, as part of being the farm manager, troubleshooter, I have access to this lovely cottage. Very nice indeed. I also can use whatever equipment I need to. And I'm also free to, within reason, purchase machinery and equipment I can afford to. Um, but I do have to run it by Sir David, bigger purchases, things like that. I'm free to run the farm however I need to, but I do need to check in for certain things, land purchases, things like that. I have to say Farm Dog is very happy about the whole situation. <laughs> I think he was looking forward to a bit of hiking around the countryside, but he prefers to be on a farm, let's be honest. So, we're here then, Oakfield Farm. I've got a pickup. I don't normally use pickups, to be honest with you. He didn't say about selling equipment. Um, I'm sure he'd be okay with it. Well, scary prospect it is. Massey Ferguson. Why are you growling at the Massey Ferguson? It's done nothing to you. Oh dear. Right. Now, there are local um, workers who are hireable who've worked on the farm quite a lot over the years I think the last I suppose I assume it must have been a tenant farmer here I don't know he didn't really go into a lot of detail just that they needed some assistance so I don't know who was here before the equipment looks well maintained it's not like it's a a mess but what they have done up until now Oakfield Farm has always been arable um, way back when they did have a dairy farm I believe I'm not too sure there was a field for sheep so what I have been tasked with as well <coughs> is getting the dairy farm up and running so David wants dairy sheep is an option so that's good it doesn't look too bad I was expecting <clears throat> the fact it's been a quite a while since they've had a dairy farm here I was expecting it to be a real mess you know rotten rusted panels and roof collapsed and that kind of thing it looks pretty good I'll have to give it a bit of a look over but it's in good shape I mean at the end of the day he wants me to be happy about doing this so I need to check it over and make sure everything's okay it seems to be alright I agree turn off those lights we can't be affording to waste power. Now what I might do, which I haven't done actually, I might look at alternative energy s sources. Maybe solar panels, something along those lines. I haven't really done it before on a farm, but I'm thinking if I want to get this up and running and going really well, that might not be a bad way to go. There's definitely a lot of work to be done. I feel really bad now. I'm going to have to go and speak to Dave and Penny. Um, if I do take this job I'm not going to need the B&B &B. but that said it is a lovely part of the world so what I'm going to do now is make the most of the B&B &B for the time I've got I'm going to head back to the B&B &B. I'm going to put my feet up have a cup of tea have a think about this it's a big prospect it's a big job I've just come off the back of doing the same thing somewhere else and I'm now oh do I need the stress do I need that stress in my life mind you we start with some nice machinery I do like a Massey I do like a Massey Ferguson it's a nice looking farm I have to say do I wonder from here can you see across the valley to where was Upper Coble? if I went over that way and up oh, I might be up past the trees there just wonder if I could see see across to Sir David's house and wave across the valley but okay right let's head back B&B &B, feet up cup of tea de-stress a little bit and get my head round what I might be getting myself into but it looks nice.
Plus I just want to drive this car some more. What I am going to do though, if I go up this way, I've just been looking at the map, if I go out of here and up over the top of the valley, I think I can get back down into Coberley that way. So I'm going back out onto the main road. It also gives me a chance to have a look out. I think we own one of the fields up here on the left. And we also own a couple of fields, grass fields, behind the farm. I think it might be this field here. <coughs> on the left field 13, we own that. That's going to need some work. And that's a fair sized field as well. I didn't even look to see if I had a cultivator or not. Now, I'm also hoping to maybe try and steer, steer clear of chemicals, maybe. I don't know. I mean, to be fair, it's an easy way to get up and running. So we'll see. Um, I'm hoping I'm going to have an ask in town. Actually, I might ask Dave and Penny at the B&B. They might know. To find out whether there is a, a, uh, a Sengstock slurry locally. There seem to be a few of those knocking about. Let's see if they do have a, a distribution outlet here in Gloucestershire. Fingers crossed. Try and familiarise myself with the area too. That will probably come in quite handy. What will be coming up on now? Little top stores, aptly named, and this looks familiar, right? Covid, it was actually quite a good route back, isn't it? It's 20 to 7. <clears throat> 7 Springs. Um, and I'm heading to the pub. On the right hand side here, I believe, is another farm which is unoccupied. Seems to be happening a lot. Farms closing, selling off their land. People just trying to make ends meet, really. If I take a left at this roundabout just here and then I believe the pub's on the left hand side I keep saying pub I suppose it's more of a restaurant I'm not sure really <coughs> just here don't know it's open no lights on mind you the lights don't generally come on till about 9 o'clock at night do they just here will do right now over the course of the afternoon we've had torrential rain <laughs> the sun is out now but if you look at the top right hand corner at the far end of the bar is saying that the ground is wet so yeah not much use at all um there is over here like a construction area there you go placeables etc that could come in handy at some point but anyway, I want to make sure I'm early. I don't want to get there late. Don't want to keep uh, a night waiting. That's the store just through there. What I'll do. I'll wait in the garden, I think. Actually, while I am here, what I can do. Just hop the fence. I'm assuming it is open. Never mind, I'm going to sit here actually on one of the benches. And I'm going to check the inventory for the farm because I didn't look at that earlier and I should have done really. I saw a few bits of machinery but I didn't look at all of it. Um, so let's have a look, what have we got? Fence 700, Massey Ferguson, Massey Ferguson Activa, header trailer, agro liner. We've got a plough, the horse pronto. We don't actually own a cultivator. Hmm. Another horse pronto will allow you to seed 
directly even if it hasn't been cultivated that might be the option to go with to start off with I think might not have a lot of choice um, until we can build up a bit of money but yeah okay I think the pickup I might sell um, <clears throat> I don't need it I don't think I'm happy bimbling around in a tractor to be honest with you and they're nice tractors as well so that should be a bit of fun okay well that's not so bad oh 6.43 nervous I'm nervous I'm nervous I don't know why I think what I'll do is order a pint wait for him to arrive well I've just seen him off five past nine we sat and we chatted it's like I'd known him for years the job's mine I've taken the plunge I'm doing it I am now the new farm manager at Oakfield Farm oh that was a bit aggressive so wow I, yeah. can't believe I've done that how brilliant is that I think what I'll do is in the morning when the store opens I'm going to sell the pickup this can go back this lease it was only just supposed to be while I was on holiday I'd love to keep it but it's a bit pricey um, and we need to start things off I think I've got ploughing to do I haven't got a cultivator so I can't do any cultivating um, I'll keep a check on the fields behind the farm their grass once the grass starts growing I need to start making plans if we're going to start getting cows and that kind of thing but I need some crops growing and you know I just really need to get going on stuff having made the decision and taken the plunge it's now all hands to the pumps so to speak what I'm going to do very very quickly is just have a pop in here Oak Glen Farm it seems quite abandoned I, I didn't put that on because I'm scared of the dark it's just you know so you can see it's just so you can see I'm not scared of the dark honest um, pig farm okay now I'm pretty sure this is a little aside here when I did my first look I'm sure I said that this was a sell point and I think I was wrong I think that's actually a silo I think someone did comment to say it's not a sell point it's a silo but I don't know yeah because you've got oak is it oak Glen barn which is a sell point for straw yeah because that's a silo pipe there I think that's a silo could come in handy if I do need to store other crops maybe using this I'll check with uh, I'll check with Sir David to see if we own this I'll say we <laughs> he owns it I'm just running it but um, you know if he does that might come in quite handy anyway I can go up to my new cottage get myself bedded down for the night lots to do in the morning should have her back out onto a main road but let's go now in talking to him at Seven Springs um, apparently there's a special way into the farm that I need to know or I did need to know I've got my 290,000 that's my money now I'm taking this job on I think I'm going to invest it into doing this hopefully my investment will pay dividends it will be that situation that because I put money in at the end of the day I should get more out in theory providing I put the work in and do some stuff for it that should be the case um, just past here around the side of the sawmill I will do is 
equipment around here. Now I might invest in some machinery. I might invest in silos. I don't know really what I'm going to invest in yet. I'm selling the pickup will make it do. Is that water? Is that toxic? That does not look healthy, does it? I don't know if that's... Is that the light shining on it? Or is that just some kind of toxic waste? I don't know. That's quite a scary colour. Um, let's open the gate. Because just at the back of the farm here, I have been informed, there is field 50, is it? Yeah. Another construction site. If I'm prepared to invest, I could probably do with some land. Depends how expensive it is, though, to be fair. Let's have a look. 58,000. It's a big chunk of change. Uh, what I might do in the morning, when the store's open, sell the pickup, see what I get. I'm not going to get... I don't know. 50, what did it say? 54,000, did it say? If I sell it, I'll get 54. Yeah. So... If I take that to the store, I should get a bit more. That might not be enough to cover this cost. So you know what? I might do that in the morning. But that is all to come. Oh, long day. We have not got a lot of days of spring to get a lot done. Um, I have got my seasons set on six days. <clears throat> yeah, I've got it set on six days. So, realistically, the day I've spent mulling things over, um, that's the day I've lost. So, got a lot to be getting on with. But, we are at the end of our first episode on the new Let's Play on Oakfield Farm, where I am now the new farm manager. Actually, I'll just pull that in here, so I've got to put it outside. I'll ring the rental company, they can come and collect it. Turn the lights off. And in we go. How exciting! I've got a... <laughs> I feel like a burglar <laughs> with, a, with a torch on. Let's put the lights on, shall we? Now I can turn my... Oh, what am I doing? There we go. Turn my burglar torch off. I'm going to make myself a cup of coffee. And I think I'll head to bed. But that's it. We're done. First episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. As much as I have to make. Before I finish off, I just want to say a massive, massive thank you to Adrian. I sent him a postcard from Koberly. But... He has a lot to do with this first episode. So Adrian, thank you, thank you very much. I have enjoyed it immensely. Tomorrow, the real farming starts. Lots of work, lots to do. If you have enjoyed it, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.